smiley fish gets upside down come back to the tail there's the horn and that's actually not the right horn this is for example let me look here what I'm seeing here remember what's inside the tail and there's the pivot point right where the wire is now those horn those holes are exactly over that pivot point okay let's go switch to the other side that's not the one I used Now there's the horn, Maybe the pointer. This is where I'm hooked up now. You can see which one screwed down. But it was forward with, the, with these holes right over the pivot point. That's where I started. I moved it back one whole pad, right? That was too far back. You can see it was mounted back one whole pad. And so I split the difference. I pulled it back forward. So let me move these out of the way now. You can see there's a black line where that used to be. It's half a pad back from where it was before. And, and also don't forget I'm out one more hole on the horn or on the ball link too. So I'm one, two, I'm on the third hole out. All right, now let's go to the front end of this thing. Here's the arms I bought. Notice this is the one that's missing off the other side. So there's your shortest one. There's the longest one. There's the second shortest one. That's the one I used. And I'm on the second hole from the outside. I could still come out one more hole, but I didn't need it. I'm on the second from the outside on that on that one. And there it is. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it, but there's there's the hookup. Okay. Okay. Now I said it failed when it was all the way back for the from one one full pad back. But partly the reason it failed, and I'm telling you, what I'm telling you is that this needs to be as short as possible. That's what I wrote in that. And, and I actually lengthened that wire itself to get back here. So this part of the wire was really stiff. And let me show you why. It needs to be flexible. This, this needs to be as close to that as possible with that wire as short as possible. I'm even going to shorten that one. I can shorten it by that much, and I'm going to. And here's what happens. If this thing starts having to bend, and because the wire is stiff, it doesn't bend. Well, when my horn was further back, I had a longer wire in there, too. So that's partly the reason it failed. I still go back. This is where I'm always going to go to. I got double fronts and double backs from that position. And the further back you go, you're going to start losing rigidity on your control surface. So that worked and and that's why I'm at that's why I'm at where I'm at. All right. Okay, I coupled my flaps with my elevator. So, how much? This is on low rates. Oops, full up. And that gives me this much flap for all that up. So this, the flaps are actually pretty soft. Full down, this is my low rate still. And there's the flaps for all that, all that down. Okay, let's go to high rates. Oops. There's what I got for up. And there's the flaps that go in for full up. And there's what I got for down. And there's the flaps I got for full down. Just to help you out.